This video tutorial from ExoCAD will show you all the features in Chairside CAD which can be used to design an anatomical crown. To begin, run the Chairside DB application. Note, there is a user guide indicating how to proceed. To set up your first case, you can type in the patient's name in the name field or select the ellipsis button to add a new entry. Enter the first name and last name. Select the date of birth by navigating through the calendar. Choose the desired year, month and the day. Accept the entry. Select the number tooth you wish to design. Select anatomical crown as a restoration type if you wish to create a full contour crown. The combination of anatomic crown and anatomic pontic will allow you to design an anatomic bridge or full contour with morphology. Designing a bridge will be shown in a separate video. Choose your desired material. In this case, we choose, for example, lithium disilicate. Finish the restoration definition by clicking the OK button. The antagonist will be selected automatically depending on the restoration placement. We recommend choosing the tooth shade for your records as an important piece of information for your manufacturing partner. Click the Save button to continue. You can collaborate with other Dental Share users to request a specific service and to transfer project data. We will proceed with one of our demo samples. Click on the Load button at the top of the Chairside DB window. Choose the demo sample called Lower Crown Sample. Then click on the Load button again. The restoration type selected for this case is Anatomical Crown and Feldspar as the material. This sample job definition includes an antagonist. Next, choose Design from the Action menu to start the CAD application. The software automatically starts a wizard that will guide you through all the work steps. You may navigate in 3D space using your mouse. Use the right mouse button, hold and drag to rotate the view around the rotation center. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Using both mouse buttons, hold and drag to pan. Click the mouse wheel or the middle mouse button to change the center point of the rotation. You can use the arrows to quickly view the scene from six directions or use number pads. Click on the help button represented by the question mark symbol to open the user manual in your browser. You will be directed automatically to the corresponding page. You can also find the full list of the hotkeys in the user manual. Our most common hotkeys include type A to hide and show antagonist, type S to show and hide the jaw scan, control and middle mouse button hides the object under the pointer, control, shift and little mouse button displays it again, shift and the middle mouse button toggles the transparency of the object under the pointer or you can show or hide scene objects in Group Selector. To start the design, click to define points of the margin line in the Correct and Draw tab. Note, the wizard will prompt you to click on the margin for a specific die or tooth. It is important to start with the tooth displayed in the wizard. By choosing the Magnetic Line Drawing, detection of the margin will be semi-automatic. Add new points by mouse left click. If the magnetic line drawing option is activated, you can toggle between free drawing and magnetic drawing by holding the control key. Double click to close the line. Left click and hold control points to drag and drop.
You can remove points by holding the mouse left button on the point and then click the mouse right button. A sectional 2D view of the area below the mouse cursor will be displayed in the upper right corner of the chair side CAD screen. To clear the entire margin, choose the clear button or use the hotkey Ctrl X. You can switch to Detect tab and use the margin line automatic detection. Click on the buckle margin line. If the margin line has not been detected correctly, you can help the algorithms by adding one or more additional points on the margin line. Alternatively, select the Correct Draw tab to adjust the margin manually. You can remove points by choosing the Remove Point option or use the Shift and Mouse click on the point. If the subgingiver preparation type is checked, the detection will follow a concave feature line on the scan data. In this detection mode, four points are required. Deactivate subgingiver preparation type if the margin line is not below the gingiva. Click on the Next button to proceed to the next step. Note, the hotkey for Next button is Control and Spacebar. In this step, we are prompted by the wizard to verify the insertion direction. Chairside CAD shows the automatically detected insertion axis by adjusting the viewpoint so that you look onto the preparation in the direction of insertion. While you rotate, the software may display certain parts of the preparation in red. This indicates problems that would arise if you were to set the insertion axis to the current view, such as margin is in an undercut area or adjacent teeth blocking the path of insertion. Note, this display is only an approximation. To change the insertion axis, rotate the view so that you look onto the preparation in your desired insertion direction. Click Set Current View as Insertion Axis. Click on the Next button to proceed to the next step. Chairside CAD automatically calculates the cement gap of the crown bottom using the scan data geometry and the defined margin line. Material specific parameters are considered in this calculation. Therefore, it's crucial to select the correct material and material configuration when setting up the job. It also detects the orientation of the crown. In the unlikely event that this doesn't work correctly, you can select new mesial or distal neighbors by expanding the section Correct Mesial Distal. Using the Library dropdown, you can change the Tooth Library. Or you can navigate through the library by using the arrow buttons. Hold Control while scrolling the mouse wheel to cycle between all installed tooth libraries. You can correct the suggested tooth placement by dragging the model tooth with your mouse. Useful shortcuts are available for tooth placement. Hold Shift to scale the tooth. Hold Control to rotate it. And hold Control and Shift to perform direction-based scaling. By clicking Go to Advanced Placement, you can access more detailed tooth placement options. This will be shown in a separate video. Proceed to Next. The calculation for the Auto Articulator will start automatically, and in the main view, you can see the articulator movements. If you prefer to adjust all adaptations manually, use Undo. To repeat the articulation movements, select Articulator in the main toolbar once the Auto Articulator step is finished. Select the desired movement using the radio buttons and drag the slider to move the jaw. Protrusion, Retrusion, Laterotrusion left, and Laterotrusion right. At this stage, by accessing the freeforming step, Chairside CAD automatically adapts model teeth to the preparation margin, the antagonist, adjacent teeth, and, if applicable, pontics to the gingiva. 
This means that it cuts away existing intersections following the default value of material configurations from the manufacturers. Note, chairside CAD does not fall below the minimum thickness during automatic adaptation. The Show Distances window shows the automatic distance coloring between opposing or adjacent teeth and emphasizes where there are intersections and where there is clearance between the selected objects. The checkbox dynamic appears when the auto articulator movement was simulated. You can also edit the tooth shape with freeforming tools. Anatomical freeforming allows you to adjust the tooth anatomy by tooth area. Click on cusps to edit individual cusps. You can use tooth parts to edit the mesial, distal, buccal or lingual part depending on where you click. This is especially useful for adjusting approximal contacts since the tooth stays attached to the preparation margin. Edit Ridges works properly for restorations based on model teeth such as anatomic crowns, copings and anatomic inlays. Use Entire Tooth if you wish to move the entire tooth. If you wish to have further adaptation, select the desired adaptation type, occlusal or approximal. To cut intersections according to the selected adaptation type, click Cut Intersections. You can choose between static or dynamic occlusion. The static adaptation type only cuts the intersections with the antagonist in its current position. And dynamic adaptation cuts the intersections that appear when the articulator movement was simulated. You can paint areas on the model teeth which will be excluded from adaptation by selecting Exclude Selected Parts. In the approximal adaptation, you can define a distance from the designed anatomy to the adjacent teeth and emergence profile using the desired distance sliders. By default, the scanned approximal neighboring teeth are temporarily blocked out relative to the tooth insertion direction to allow a collision-free insertion. Note, the hotkey to cut intersections with antagonist is Control A and Control X cuts all intersections including adjacent and gingiva. Free adds, removes or smooths material with a virtual wax knife. Select the desired action by using the buttons Add Remove or by Smooth Flatten. By using the slider Strength, you can adjust the amount of the wax knife strength. By using the slider Brush Size, you can define the area that is affected around the cursor. To add material, hold the left mouse button on the tooth to add material. To remove material, additionally hold Shift. The longer you hold the mouse button, the more material will be added or removed. To smooth rough areas, hold the left mouse button on tooth areas you want to smooth. To flatten or super smooth the material, additionally hold Shift. You can use the default shape point of knife or cylinder shape. Click Next to merge parts to the restoration. In the next wizard step, you can start the InCAD nesting. ExoCAD InCAD nesting helps you to interactively place single or multi-unit restorations into milling blanks during your design process. Blanks are listed and sorted by materials and size. Select a production blank. Ensure that the material and production blank you choose for manufacturing your design restoration is suitable for the purpose of the reconstruction. Note, indications for use of the materials are defined by the manufacturer. In combination with the TrueSmile module, you can easily adjust the position and shading of your restoration in a multi-layered blank to match the adjacent teeth. Also, you can check if the reconstruction will fit into the desired blank 
before it gets sent to the manufacturer. You can only select blanks compatible with the project's material configuration. You can move the blank by dragging it with your mouse left button. To rotate and tilt the blank, drag the corresponding arrows which appear when hovering over the blank in the main view. The sprue will be updated automatically when moving the blank. The movements of the blank may be limited by the axis of your machine. You can also rotate the blank by holding Ctrl and the left mouse button and dragging left and right. To move the blank up and down, hold Shift and drag your mouse up and down. Hold Ctrl and Shift to rotate in every direction. If a restoration or parts of a restoration are outside the blank, the affected area will be displayed in red. Ensure that restorations are completely inside the blank and that no red areas are visible. The wizard window displays the production blank settings. You can choose a different blank. You can also select a different shade. This depends on the selected blank. Choose the blank holder and slot number. You can change the properties of the sprue by selecting the ellipsis. If possible, avoid placement of the sprue in cavity by selecting Avoid Cavity Placement. Add a lot number for the production into this field. Note, depending on the reseller configuration, this field may be mandatory. Visual appearance of the layers can be changed. By using the INCAD, the nesting position and specification of the blank will be exported into the Construction Info file. Click Next to initiate the production step. Once the toolpath calculation is complete, the Chairside CAD workflow is finished. The restorations you have created are queued for production and a PDF file containing the production summary report is generated. Machine Tray Tool is a software application for storing, scheduling, displaying, and transferring dental cam jobs. It allows you to control the assignments and the production queue to individual machines from your computer.